Greetings Falcons! The purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to use Aspen. To begin, let's talk about how to log on to Aspen. There are two ways, outside Citrix and inside Citrix. To log on to Aspen outside Citrix, you can go to the York County or York High website and click the Aspen Family Portal link under Links. To log on to Aspen inside Citrix, you will log into the computer and then open the internet. You will then click the Aspen icon on the student portal. Your Aspen login is the same as your computer login, minus the YSTU. So you simply enter your six digit student ID number and your computer password to log in. When you first log on to Aspen, you will see your Aspen homepage. Anytime you want to return to your Aspen homepage, you just click the Pages top tab. There are some cool widgets here. The Announcements widget, which includes some timely updates to help you use Aspen. The To Do widget, which contains assignments due today and tomorrow and will help you manage these tasks. For example, we have here the Atomic Theory Classwork assignment. The teacher has attached a handout and a web link to help you with this assignment. In addition, there is an online submission box denoted by this up arrow. To submit your assignment, you just click the arrow, browse, and upload. To the right is this recent activity widget which has recent scores updated by your teacher. The published reports widget contains interim and quarter grade reports. Most importantly, however, noted by this twirling arrow is the page directory. You need to click the page directory to add your class page shortcuts. Just click Add. Now you can go to Academic and view your class pages. I'm going to share with you the Chemistry class page. And again, there are some cool widgets here to help you manage your learning. The Class Information widget contains the Attendance and Averages summary. The averages are broken down by category and term. There is a Submit Assignments widget, and you can just click the up arrow to upload your assignment. And then, most importantly, is this Group Resources widget. If your teachers have told you they've posted a resource to the Aspen class page, this is where you're going to find it. I'm going to click the chemistry folder to show you the resources inside. If you like a resource, you just click on it to download or click to go. Okay, now I'm going to discuss with you your Academics Top tab, and this is where you'll go to see your assignments and your scores. So when you first click on the Academic Top tab, you see a list of your classes and a snapshot or a glance of your current performance scores. Now I am in a training database, so the scores are not showing, but you do you are provided with a snapshot. For more details, you simply click the class link and you can view what you have seen before in the class information widget, your attendance summary, and average summary. Now I want to take a moment and share with you some tips for navigating Aspen. In Aspen, it's best to use the internal navigation rather than your browser back and forth buttons. You have these wonderful breadcrumbs. So if I click this breadcrumb, classes, it'll take me up one level. 
you also have over here to the right these great uh, navigation arrows. So if I click the right arrow, it takes me to the next record or class. So now I'm viewing the details of another class. To view the assignments, you click the Assignments Aside tab. And now you have a list of your assignments. You can use the drop downs to filter the list by category and by term. Now this isn't a list of your assignments. It includes some more wonderful information, date assigned, date due, term, and your score if available, as well as some assignment feedback. Now I'm going to click on an assignment to view the assignment details. There is a description box, and, and many teachers are adding some instructions here to help you um, achieve the best score you can on your assignment. Note the remark or feedback. And then at the bottom, this is so important, if a teacher is telling you they have attached a file or link to an assignment, this is where you would find it. So you would simply just download the assignment file or go to the assignment link to use these resources to help you with the assignment. Now we're going to go to the calendar. Just click the calendar top tab to do this. And now you have a calendar view of your assignments. And again, if you are not seeing what you want to see, you can use the internal navigation. So I'm going to click Previous to adjust my view. Now these are the assignments, and they are color-coded by class. If you want to view the details of the assignment, you just click on the assignment, and now you can view the assignment details. Thank you so much for listening, Falcons. If you need further assistance with Aspen, please see Mrs. Askin or Mrs. Steinmuller in the Media Center. Thank you again.